movie Footloose came out in 1984 and has since been adapted into a stage musical in 1998 and the movie itself was remade in 2011. But right now we're just talking about the 1984 original. It sits in the 80s movie classic triumvirate with Ferris Bueller's Day Off and The Breakfast Club as movies that aren't great but get referenced a lot. At least, that's what TV tropes told me. Anyways, I'll sum up the movie real quick. After his parents divorced, a teenage Kylo Ren moves in with his mother to generic, generic small town from Chicago. Now, the senior prom is coming up. Yay! But rock and roll and dancing is illegal in this town. Oh no! He tries to get that changed, but is opposed by Principal Dunbar and Reverend Shaw Moore, whose daughter, Kylo Ren, is trying to woo. The problem is that Reverend Trinity Killer has made the town's parents absolutely certain that if dancing were allowed, everyone would become permanently pregnant crackhead prostitutes who sleep in the same bed as their spouse. Well, obviously, I am being a little hyperbolic here. I mean, the conservatives aren't portrayed as mustache-twirling villains. They're sympathetic. They develop as characters. And the conflict is resolved between reasonable people engaging in dialogue, both sides, making reasonable, rational arguments. There's even a moment where the nominal antagonist, Reverend Moore, is the first to chastise his allies when they start actually burning books. everybody, listen to me! When did you all decide to sit in judgment? Who elected all of you? To be the saviors of everybody's souls in Beaumont. Reverend, we have a perfect right to determine what our Roger. children... When you burned all of these, what are you going to do then? Chris, take these out of here. Satan is not in these books. He's in here. It's a pretty fair and two-sided depiction. But what do people remember from that movie? Old, white, Christian conservatives being the book-burning, no-fun police. My god, this must be opposed at every opportunity. Let's see what Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy has to say about what I'm talking about. Well, on my planet, there's a legend about people like you. It's called Footloose. And in it, a great hero named Kevin Bacon. He teaches an entire city full of people with sticks up their butts that dancing, well, it's the greatest thing there is. Who put the sticks up their butts? What? No, that's just a... That is cruel. Just a phrase. Hear that, Reverend? Your worry about dancing has nothing to do with that you lost a child in a car accident after leaving such a dance, and you're worried for the safety of your daughter. You just have a stick up your butt. This is so divorced from what happened in the movie, it's absurd. Footloose's dialogue between reasonable people was a battle of ideas, and the better idea won out in the end. The meme of Footloose, or as I call it, the Elders of Footloose meme, is that you can dismiss someone's argument because they're just old buddy dice with stick up their butts who go on book-burning marshmallow roasts. And if they have their way, they not only ban dancing, they'll ban it looking at girls. Therefore, any argument in favor of traditional or conservative ideas, not only can be, but must be opposed at all costs. Traditional ideas are therefore inherently incorrect. It's contrarianism for the sake of being contrary. Tell me, how many times have you heard the argument, it's current year, unironically? Contempt for traditional ideas also generates contempt for traditional institutions. How often has Christianity been a target for ridicule and harassment? We're coming into the holiday season, so you know what that means, right? That's right, the ACLU and the Freedom From Religion Foundation judge shopping to get the violence of the state to remove Christmas trees, nativity scenes, from display by replacing Merry Christmas with sterile and lifeless platitudes like Happy Holidays. And why not? I mean, if we let the church have its way, all the books will just spontaneously catch on fire. But the Bible is a book- ALL THE BOOKS! There's a logical fallacy called appeal to tradition, where if something is traditional, then it must be right. For example, six generations in our town, two plus two equals five. Therefore, it must be correct. No, you and your ancestors just suck at math. I propose that appeal to tradition reversed is equally fallacious, where if something is traditional, then it must be wrong. For six generations in our town, two plus two equals four. Therefore, it must be wrong. 
No, you still suck at math. The Elders of Footloose meme is wrong-headed and stupid. It has nothing to do with the Footloose movie. Reverend Moore wasn't wrong to ban dancing because he's an old fuddy-duddy. He was wrong because dancing just isn't a sinful act. How about instead of channeling Jon Stewart and replying to time-tested honored traditions with smirking and eye rolls, we challenge ideas with reasonable, thoughtful arguments? And that means that sometimes, instead of just making arguments, maybe we should listen as much as we talk and find that we actually have a lot more in common than we think. Let's take a lesson from Footloose the movie and actually talk and listen to each other and may the best ideas win. Also, who wants to burn books? I mean, really, that's just absurd.